regular day class, so we will be discussing Saturn chapter 6 on Saturn nga mycology or the study about your fungi. So, in the introduction, uh, introduction Saturn nga mycology, the term mycology is derived from the Greek word uh, meaning mics, meaning mushroom. Therefore, mycology is the study of your fungi. The ability of your fungi is to invade plants and animal tissue was observed in the early 19th century, but the first documented animal infection by a fungus was made by Bassi, who in, uh, who in 1835 studied the Muscarndine disease of a silkworm provided that the infection was caused by a fungus, Biovera bassiana, or ang yang bassiana is named Halinsa nagdiscover, which is C. Bassi. In 1910, Raymond Sabord published the book Les Changes, which was a comprehensive study of dermaphytic fungi. He is also regarded as the father of medical mycology. The importance of fungi or mga fungi inhabits almost every niche of your environment and humans are exposed to these organisms in various fields of life. The beneficial or benefit sa itong effects sa itong fungi is it decomposed or sa itong decomposition. With the nutrients and the carbon recycling, your biosynthetic factories, the fermentation property is used for the industrial production of your alcohol, fats, citric oxalic, and gluconic acids. The important sources of your antibiotics from uh, such as your penicillins, your model of your organism uh, for biochemical and genetic studies, you have your neurospora casa, and you have your sacra, uh, sacrahamromyces cervicaceae is extensively used for recombinant DNA technology which includes your hepatitis B vaccine. Some fungi are edible such as your mga mushrooms, uh, mga yeast provided nutritional supplements such as your vitamins and cofactors. Your penicillin is used to flavor Roquefort and Camembert cheeses. Your egg growth produ uh, produced by Actave Clavicep uh, purpura contains your medically important alkaloid that helps in inducing urine contrast, uh, contractions, controlling bleeding, and treating migraines. And sa mga fungi like your Leptrolegenia creogate and Aphanomyces levies. Uh, are used to trap mosquito larvae in a paddy field and thus help your malaria control. Ang harmful effect naman or mga cons sa ito nga fungi is it is destruction, uh, destruction sa ito nga food, mga lumber, mga paper, and also sa ito nga clothing. Also sa ito nga uh, animal and human diseases including your mga allergies. Ang mga toxins na kita produce sa ito nga mga poison mushroom are within food. You have your example is your mycetism and your mycotoxicis. Then you have your mga plant disease caused by such fungi or fungus. Then you have your spoilage of agricultural pro uh, products such as your vegetable and cereals in the industry. Damages to the products such as your magnetic tapes, mga discs, glass lenses, mga barbell statues, bones, and wax. Okay, you have here general properties of the fungi. They are eukaryotic. Okay, cells contains membranes, bound cell organelles, including your nuclei, mitochondria, googly apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome, etc. These are also exhibit mitosis. They have uh, ergosterols in their membranes and possess ATSS or satonga ribosomes. Uh, have a rigid cell wall and therefore non-motile. A feature that separates them from your animals. All fungi possess a cell wall made of your chitin. Are, they are also chemoheteropoids, requires organic compound for both carbon and energy sources. And fungi likes your chlorophyll and are therefore non-autotropic. Your fungi are osteotropic. It means they obtain their nutrients by absorption. The obtained uh, nutrients as uh, your saprophytes live off of your decaying mga matters and your mga parasitic nga mga type of your fungi that live off living matter. All fungi require water and also oxygen and there are no obligate anaerobe. The typically produce asexual or sexual by producing your spores and, and they also grow 
uh, either reproductive by your budding or non-reproductive by hyphilial tip elongation. Kanilang food storage is generally in a form of a lipid and glycogen. So you have classifications of mga fungi. Fungi were initially classified with plants and were a subject of interest for many botanists. Hence, the influence of a botany can be seen on their classification in 1969 by Watt uh, classified all living organisms into five kingdoms, namely your Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Traditionally, he has classified, uh, he has the classification precedes in fashions. It says your kingdom, subkingdom, your phyla or phylum, then you have your subphyla, your class order, family, genus, and last liver species. This classification is too complicated to be dealt here. There are altered and more practical approaches on one based as on sexual reproduction and on the other hand is the morphology or the talus or ang ilanga vegetative nga structure. So let us first proceed sa atin nga ilanga sexual or sa ilanga production. Then you have your sexual production which is your zygomites. Okay, zygomites. Uh, they, are product, uh, they are produced to uh, through production of your zygospore. Then you have your ascycomycetes, uh, which produce endogenous spores called your ascospore in cells called your ascii. Then you have basidiomycetes, which produces exogenous spores called your basidiospores in cells called your bastidia. Then you have your deuteromycetes, uh, your fungi imperfecti. Okay, fungi are not known to produce any sexual spores, which is your ascospore or your spore. This is a heterogeneous group of a fungi where no sexual reproduction has yet been demonstrated. Now, based sa ilang morphology or ilang formation or ilang atura, then you have your molds. Okay? Either spelled with M-O-U-L-D-S or M-O-D-S. Okay? It is a filamentous fungi. So you have example here, your aspergilla species. Then you have your trichophyton rubium. And you have your yeast. Yeast is a single cell uh, that is being called your bud. Okay, mga uh, yeast type mo is you have your cryptococcus uh, neoformans, your sacro, uh, sacro, saccharomyces uh, cerevisiae. Then you have your yeast like. Okay, they are similar to yeast but reduces your pseudo, uh, pseudo hyphae. Okay, you have example here your Candida albicans and you have your dipor, uh, Dimorphic. With the Dimorphic, ibig sabihin na, the fungi exist in two different morphological forms. It's either, depende sa ilang environment uh, condition, they exist in uh, as a yeast in a tissue, okay, in vitro at a 37 degrees Celsius and molds in their natural habitat on in vitro at room temperature. You have example here, your Histoplasma capsulatum, your Blastomyces dermatitis, your Paracococciditis uh, brasiliensis, then you have your Coccidiosis imitis. Okay, some uh, under the human pathogens have been recognized amongst the, among an estimated of 1.5 species of your fungi. So let's talk more about silang morphology as so, fungi. Fungi exist in two fundamental forms, your filamentous, Okay, which is your hyphal, and your single cell budding form, which is your yeast. Both for the classification, sake for the study of your molds, yeast and yeast-like, and also dimorphic uh, fungi. All fungi have a typical eukaryotic uh, morphology, and they have really good cell wall composed of a chitin, which may be layered with manias, glucans, and other polysaccharide in association with your polypeptide. Some lower uh, fungi uh, possesses your cyclus in their cell wall and some fungi have a cryptococcus and yeast form of your histoplasma capsulatum which is processes your polysaccharide capsule, uh, capsules that help them to invade your thylanga phagocytosis. Inner to the cell wall of your plasma membrane that is a typical bilayer membrane in addition to the presence of your sterol, the fungal membrane processes eglosterol in contrast with your cholesterol found in your mammalian cell. The cytoplasm consists of your virus organelles such as your mitochondria, Google apparatus, your ribosome, the plasmic reticulum, mga lysosome, microbial, and membrane-enclosed nucleus. 
our unique property of your nuclear membrane that is persistent throughout your metaphase of metoxis, unlike in plant and animal cells where it dissolves and reforms. The nucleus possesses paired chromosomes. Sa atong nga molds ang atong nga morphology sa mga fungi, the molds is the talus of the mold is like a hyphae, which is a cylindrical tube-like structure that elongates with the growth, tip, uh, growth at the tip. A mass of your hyphae is known as your mycelium. Ayun, i-explain tam na later. Okay, in their hypha, uh, it is responsible for the filamentous nature of your mold. The hyphae may be a branch or unbranched and may be separate uh, or acetate. Hyphae usually have a cross wall that divided into numerous cells. The cross walls, what is called your septa, have small spores through in which your cytoplasm is continuously throughout your hyphae. Therefore, all hypha fungi tends to be echoinocytic or multicellular. Which exception to rhizygomites, which is ang yung mga uh, rhizopores or mucor, all molds are septate. Non-septate hyphae are considered to be more primitive because it is hyphal strand and it's damaged that ito entire strand dies. When a septate hyphal strand is damaged, the pore between the adjacent uh, and compartment can be plunged, thus preventing the death of the whole hyphal strand. So here, mycelium, you have your three kinds of your mycelium or ang lawas ang atun nga na hyphae. So you have your vegetative mycelium are those that are penetrate the surface and the medium and absorbs your nutrients. So you have here, this is your vegetative nga mycelium. Okay, if you are growing a fungi in a petri dish, okay, ang vegetative mycelium is the one nga gasulod sa agar plate. Then you have your aerial mycelium in those that grows above your agar surface. So we have here. And your fertile mycelium, okay, they are area hyphae that bears your reproductive structures uh, such as your conidia or scrollgenia. Okay, since your hyphae is a structural unit of your mold, the mycelium imparts your color, texture, and topography to the colony. Those fungi that possesses melanin pigments in their cell wall are called your pyoid and dermacoid and their colonies are colored gray, black, or olive. For example, of the species of your bipolaris, or the uh, Cladiosporium, Exophalia, Consignetiae, uh, Filia Lopilia, and your uh, Wangella, those hyphal that do not possess any pigment in their cell wall are called your hyaline. Where your hypha may be have some specialized structure or appearance that aid the identification. Some of these are what you call your spiral hyphae. These are shortly coiled hyphal commonly seen in your Recopitum metagrophytis and you have your pectinate body. These are short unilateral projections that are hyphal resemble to a broken comb commonly seen in your Microsporum audiniendi. Then you have here example of your spiral hypia, uh, hypia, hypia, man, hypia. Okay, so the and you look into a microscope, so ang iya formation sa iya high fade, like this one, ang ilang high fade na sa microscope, ito sa spiral. Then you have your picnic body, okay, no broken comb. Then you have your flabberic chandelier, a fabric. Fabric chandelier, lumatandaan ko na lang sa mga study sa mycology. Then you have your nudular organ, okay, so ay mo high fade, dumi naghabok na nudes, okay. Then you have bracket high fade. Okay, those shape ya is yaka rackets and tennis. Then you have your chlamydiospore. So have here mga spores. Chlamydiospore. Chlamydiospore. Then you have your degradating uh, hyphae, mga atropods nga spore. Okay, the spore are arasa kuma. Okay, then you have your degradating hyphae. Then you have your fabric. Okay, your fabric. These are the groups of hyphalty, collective resemblance of chandelier, arteries. Okay, in the second one na then, dito sa nakita sa itong nga yeast. Sa itong nga yeast, okay, yeast ang nga batagay na it's unicellular spherical electroid cells. They produce this by budding in which results a blastosphere or blastoconchia formation. In some cases, the cell buds and also the bud fails to detach and elongates by forming a chain and two or elongated hyphae like a filament called your pseudo hyphae. Okay, this property is seen in your Candida albicans. The same species also have the ability to produce your true hyphae, uh, which is seen in germ tube. 
The difference between the two is that there is a constriction of your fusilio hypae at the point of your body, thus the germ tube has no construction. A constriction. So you have here gram-positive uh, yeast. Okay, ang fusilio hypae, ang ginamit niya is amuni. Okay? Na dapat nag-separate niya sa into a bud, pero nag-guaya is doon naging hypae na siya, doon naging body siya sa mga molds. Pero kay yeast siya, it is a unicellular lang. Okay. Then, then you have reduction in your uh, reproduction in your fungi. Fungi reproduce by asexual or sexual or parasexual means. Ano yung means sa itong asexual? Asexual reproduction is the most common mode of your fungi to participate in a sexual mode rather than under certain circumstances and form a fungus uh, undergoing sexual reproduction. Okay. Also known as anatroph or imper, uh, imperfect stage. And when the same fungus is undergoing a sexual nga production, the form is said to be telomorph or a perfect uh, or perfect stage. The whole fungus, including both the form, is referred to a holomorph. Your taxonomy, a telomorph or a holomorph is used, but practically it is more convenient to use anamorph. For asexual naman, okay, we're sexual reproduction, okay, uh, in term for your spore or conidia, depending on their mode of production. As sexual nga spores are produced following sa ito nga mitosis, where as sexual, uh, where as sexual spore are produced throughout meiosis. The sexual spore of your zygomites, uh, which are known as your sporangium spore, uh, within a sac of your structure known as your spongilla. The spongilla spore results in your mitotic cleavage of your cytoplasm in your sporangium. The spongilla are born in a special hyphae called your phalangiospore. This uh, endogenous uh, process of your spore formation within a sac is known your sporogenesis. So you have here the spore sac. You have your mga spongilla spore sa sulod Okay. The coron, uh, columnia, okay, this is the head that connects your uh, body or your spilangiospore. Okay. Then you have your spilangium, okay, ang yaunod. You have your acetylate hyphae. Okay. Acetylate hyphae is ang body sa atong or sa ayang hyphae. Okay. This is the hyphae sa atong fungi. The spilangiospore. Okay. This, this itself is a sporangiospore. Then you have your rhizoids. Rhizoid is the formation sang hyphae. Diba? You have here, again, as kababaw. Then you have different type of uh, spore banding. You have your condia. Okay, you have your uh, filidi hyphae. Okay, domastin na hyphae that, produce, that uh, gives nutrients sa yung uh, condia. Then you have your bisicol. Bisicol is the one when you compare yes, it's a piak. It is your columella. And you have your conidiospore. So it's a conidiospore. Let's proceed sa nga sexual reproduction. The sexual reproduction sa ito nga fungi is that it produces a fusion of two nuclei that then generally undergo meiosis. The first type of a sexual production of um, involves the plasmogamy. Okay, your cytoplasmic fusion of your two cells. The second step is karyogamy, which is or in, we're in the fusion of two compatible nuclei, resulting in a production of a diploid or a zygote na nucleus. This is followed by a genetic combination of your meiosis, and the resulting four haploid spore are said to be sexual spores, which is your zygospore, asospore, and basidiospore. If a sexual spore is produced by uh, only by fusion of your nuclear of one mating type with a nucleus of another mating type, the equivalent is a positive called negative mainstream, the fusion is called to be heterotalic. In contrast with your homotalic molds produces your uh, sexual spore following the fusion of two nuclei with the same strand, we say positive gag positive or negative gag negative. For example, uh, if they are the same nga species. 
di ba may rakit nga different nga genus? Uh, same nga genus pero different nga species. Kung uh, same species, uh, same genus kag same, uh, same species, it is your homothalic. The sexual production to occur, to compatible, uh, compatible isolates are required. Prezygospores, which are your sexual spore of your zygomites, are round, thick, cell-walled production structures that results to the union of two gametaglia. Your azygomocyte produces your sexual spore, uh, spores called your ascospores in a special sac uh, like the uh, cell known as your ascos. In your basidiocytes, the basidiospore are released in uh, released from your basidium, which are terminally called as your hyphae. Then you have your parasexual reproduction. What is your parasexual? Okay? The first scene in your aspergillus, known as your basidiumitis, asinumitis, and deuteromitis. And the process involves genetic recombination without the requirement of a specific sexual nga structure. So it will just multiply with it. Then you have the importance of your spores okay, for your biological. Uh, allows dissemination, allows reproduction, allows the fungus to move uh, to new food source, allows fungus to survive period of adversity, okay, kung laway ang environment. Uh, a means of uh, introduction, uh, in introducing new genetic combination to population or sa baguyang nga uh, species. Then you have your practical Okay. Rapid identification also help for classification. Okay, it depends on the types of spore. Also, sources of inocula for human infection, sa yung site. Then you have sources of inocula for contamination. Okay, for your site, gosimites, commonly known as the bread molds. Okay, they are fast growing, terrestrially, uh, terrestrial, terrestrial, largely suffocate fungi. Hyphae are co-introcytic and mostly aseptic. Asexually spore including your chlamydia, your uh, conidia, and sporangia spores. Your sporangia spores may be a simple or branch. Sexual reproduction involves producing a thick walled sexual resting spore called your zygote spore. This is medically important order of your genera including your emtomo. Caprilcellis or conidiobolis and basidiobolis are involved in a subcutaneous zygomyces. Your mucoralis or zygospores, your mucor, glissum muco, abstidia, coning chanela, and involves your subcutaneous systematic zygomycosis, formerly known as your mucor mycosis. Herbacidiomycetes, uh, they exist as support, uh, parasite of your plant, hyphae or dichrotic, and can often be distinguished by presence of a clamp connection over a septa. Sexual reproduction of this formation of your exogenous basidiospores, typically for or basidium, uh, occasionally species occur on your condia, but most are sterile. Your genera or your medical importance includes a telomorph of your cryptococcus neoformans, which is a philo, uh, philobacidia neoformans, agent for your basidiomycosis, such as your cop, uh, coprinus and cyginophilium. Uh, your, mas uh, your mushroom poisoning by your amita, leopia, uh, coprinus, and your uh, C low side and etc. For ascomenomites, uh, ascomenomites, uh, they exist in the saprophytes and parasites of your plants, hyphae, and separate, uh, septate with a simple septal spore. A sexual reproduction is by conidia. Sexual reproduction is by formation of endogenous ascospore, typically eight in an ascus. Uh, medically important genera including your telomorph uh, of known pathologic fungi, for example, your atroderma, agilomice, uh, dermatitis, then your uh, pseudonalescherelia bondii. The agent of your mycotoma, like your leptosperia, agents of your black piedra, such as your piedra hortiae.
Then you have your diotromites. Uh, your diotromites, also known as your fungi imperfecti, because of the absence of sexual reproducing form, which is your mga telomorph or perfect stage, and their telomorph continued to be discovered, they would be classified among the previous category until then, this remains as artificial or heterogeneous group. There you have your three types of the classes of your imperfecti, your fungi imperfecti. You have your blastomyces, uh, blastomyces uh, which include, uh, this includes your asexual body formed by your cryptococcus, canindi, uh, candida, your torophilopsis, your codotorola, uh, depending on this presence of your melanin in their cell wall and maybe non-dermatitious uh, or dermatitious. Your uh, hyposemitis, a uh, class of your mycelial molds which reproduce asexual by conidia or hyphae. The hyphae also on yes, state this class contains the majority of medically important fungi and the mystacious content of those uh, conidial fungi that reproduce dark brown or green black or black colonies and also causative agent for uh, phenylophenylases mycosis, uh, hyaline hitlo Mycetes, including those consumed fungi which is not dark pigmented. The colonies may be uh, colorless but brightly colored. This includes the agents of your hyalohypomycosis, aspergillogenesis, uh, dermatophytosis, and uh, the dimorphic pathogens like your Histoplasma capsulatum. Your co uh, coleomycosites. Uh, these produce archivoli, uh, uh, which are tightly bound mats of your hyphae on which conidia are produced. The pathogenesis of your fungal diseases or mycosis. Most fungi are saprophytic or fungi to the plant and are adapted to their natural environment. The infection in fungi in uh, case event occurring only when conditions are favorable. Most, for example, fungi have a dimorphic fungi that causes systematic mycosis or derma, uh, dermatophytes, which are primarily pathogens, and the rest are only opportunistic pathogens. Human body is a hostile environment and offers great resistance to fungal invasion. Most fungi are sacrophytic, and their enzymatic pathways functions more efficiently at the redox potential of a non-living substance than at a... Uh, with a relative more uh, reducing state of your metabolism tissue. Some fungi, such as your candida and malassezia, have adapt to a human environment and exist as commensal. You have here the complex interplay between your fungal virulence factor and the host defense factor will determine its fungal infection and will cause a disease. Uh, infection depends on your inoculum size and the general immunity of your host. So first, uh, uh, first off, you have here the fungal pathogenicity. So this is the effect of your fungi sa tao. So it is the ability to adhere to a host by way of your cell wall glycoproteins. The production of your capsule also allows them to resist phagocytosis or ang pagkaon sa ila sa mga white blood cells. You have your production of cytokines which is called your GMCFS by your candida avacans that suppresses the production of uh, of your component, uh, complements. You have ability to acquire iron from a red blood cell such as your candida albicans. You have the ability to damage the host by secreting enzymes such as your keratinase, elastase, and cholangenase. Uh, ability to resist killing by your uh, phagocytes as dimorphic fungi and ability to secrete mycotoxins having a unique enzymatic capacity. They exhibit thermal dermophysem, the ability to block the cell-mediated immune defense of the host, and the surface hydrophysicity. Ang ito naman as the body ta, okay, ang defense factor sa asong na body, you have a physical barrier like your skin, and also ang mga mucous membrane, the fatty acid content of the skin, the pH of the skin, and also mga, mga mucosal surfaces are ito na body fluids. The epithelial cell turnover, ang mga normal flora yung mga daan nga gabuhi sa itong nga pant or sa itong nga body. Then you have your chemical barriers such as your sec uh, secretions, mga circum factors. Most fungi are also mesophilic and cannot grow at the uh, temperature of 37 degrees Celsius 
then you have your uh, natural uh, effector cells such as your polymorphonuclear uh, leukocytes and the professional phagocytes which is your monocyte called macrophages then you have your factor of predisposing to fungal infections you have prolonged antibiotic therapy ibig sabihin uh, napabayaan mo na yung mga antibiotics okay, may kanaka Mar. Then you have your underlying diseases such as your HIV which decreases your immune system and cancer, mga diabetes, and etc. Ay mga old age. You will also uh, take part sa uh, panubo sa immune system. Then you have your surgical procedure whereas uh, inaano ka, ginapaano ka sa suppressant. Then you have immunosuppressive drugs which is under sa surgical procedure. You have education therapy of inwelling catheters ang ginapasulod sa yung mga urinary tract. Then you have obesity, drug addiction, mga transplant na bago lang that is infected by a fungi. Then you have occupation na sa, depende sa mga workplace. Then you have the immunity to fungal infections. The uh, mechanism of immunity to a fungal infection can be innate or acquired. The non-specific immunity includes the physical barrier offered by atong na skin and mucosal membrane along with their secretion on also sa normal flora. The pH of the body, temperature, and also the serum allowing with the phagocytic day to impart in the providing non-specific immunity. Even though body mounts both hormonal and also cell-mediated immunity, it is later that it is mainstay of a host defense. Cell-mediated immunity, nasa, it is the immunity provided by a non-specific or B-infector cell or your poly, polymorphic leukocytes and professional phagocytes which are your monocytical macrophages, and specifically your T lymphocytes. The phagocytes are very important in the defense against your candidia, aspergillus, and zygomyces. As an evident in their severity of your ganomyces disease, your myeloferoxidase deficiency, and cytotoxic chemotherapy. Expression of your T cell mediated immunity to fungi includes the delayed type hypersensitivity, contact allergy, and chronic granulomatous reaction. Sa itong nga humoral immunity, okay, even though the antibody are produced against the many fungi, their role may in protection is not very clear. However, antibodies help in clearing your fungi pathogen through your optocination, which is very important against your candida and cryptococcus. Another complement of your humoral Im uh, immunity is the complement uh, which can act as a opsonance and may even cause damage to their cells through component activation. Antibodies are important to fungal serodiagnosis. What is hypersensitivity? Okay, as a result of a dermophyte infection, some fungus free skin lesions or a variable morphology occurs elsewhere in the body. Where, uh, okay, hypersensitivity as a result of a dermatophyte infection, some fungus free skin lesions or variable morphology occurs elsewhere in the body, which throughout the result of hypersensitivity to your fungus. These are called your ID reaction. Those reactions are also seen in your candida infections. An inflammatory bug lesion of the scalp called your carrion may result from a strong immune reaction to your dermatophyte. Your granulomas due to intercellular fungi represents a delayed hypersensitivity and many fungi are significantly allergic to humans and the allergen being spores, your conidia, hyphae, and other fungal products on, upon inhalation, they may produce allergic pulmonary diseases such as your allergic bron uh, bronchopulmonary aspergillosis or mga farmer's lungs, mga marple bark, stripper's lungs, and also bronchial asthma, etc., which may be classified into type 1 or type B hypersensitivity. So if your fungal diseases or your mycosis, your mycosis can be conveniently studied as superficial myco uh, mycosis. Your superficial uh, paleohyphae mycosis, your tinian disocolor, your black, black piedra, and also your white piedra. So this is your superficial, if you can see sa panit. Then you have your cutinous uh, mycosis, which is your dermato phytosis and dermatomycosis. And mga cybocutinous inside sa itong uh, epithelial cells sa social distancing skin, which is your chromoblastomycosis, uh, rhinosporiadiasis, your mycetoma, your sporotrichonotricosis, uh, your subcutaneous phenotinio uh, 5 
hypomycosis, your lobomycosis. Then you have your systematic or deep mycosis, sulod na sa skin, which is your blastomycosis, your histoplasmosis, your coccidiodomycosis, your paracoccidomycosis, and your opportunistic. Opportunistic is kung mag, uh, mag drop down na yung immune system. Okay, you have your candida, uh, candidiasis, your cryptococcus, and you have your aspergillosis. Then you have your other mycosis or fungi diseases, such as your otomycosis and oculomycosis. And also you have fungal allergies and mycetism and mycotoxiosis. Okay, this is caused by the toxin produced by your fungi. Now, sa atun nga laboratory diagnosis of your mycosis, Okay. So, kami ni sa mga health uh, healthcare workers, kapi na samon. We have medical, uh, medical or uh, specimen collection. Your specimen collection depends on the site or sa tong infective site. Different specimen later uh, includes your hair, skin, uh, skin scraping. Okay. You have your nail clipping or dun ang parts ang nail yung may uh, infected. Then you have your sputum, which is your uh, phlegm. Okay, ang badlo. Then you have your blood, your CSF or uh, central system fluid, no like CSF. Ah, cerebral, cerebral, no S, cerebral system. Basta cerebral fluid. Uh, you have your urine, corneal scraping, your discharge of a pus, or na, na, or lesion, and also you have your biopsy. All specimen must be transported in the laboratory without any delay to prevent the bacterial overgrowth. In a case, if you delay specimen except for a skin specimen, your blood and also CSF must be refrigerated for a short period. Okay, infected hair uh, may be plucked using forceps, and those hair uh, that florence under your wood lump may be selectively plucked. Uh, hairs may be collected in a sterilized paper envelope. Okay, para hindi siya ma-contaminate. Then you have your surface uh, of your skin must be disinfected with a spirit uh, before a specimen collection. And the advancing edge of your uh, lesion will be scraped sa ito nga. Parang yung mga blade na gamit ito mag skin scraping, dapat i-sterilize yung man and collect uh, ibutang mga hapon sa envelope. Then you have discolored or hyperkeratotonic areas such as your nails may be scraped or disease nail clipping may be collected in a sterilized paper envelope. Ang muna nga po nang Then you have your specimen from a mucous membrane or, or oral must be uh, collected in a gentle scraping and transported to a laboratory in a sterile tube containing a saline. The swab may be collected from also sa mga vagina or sa ating mga mucosal area. Then you have your corneal scraping may be collected using a fine needle and inoculated at the bedside. Your pus may be collected uh, with aspiration. Aspiration is gina gamit ka sa needle, gina kwa mo o ang unudya. It is your aspiration. And use our sa ito nga cotton swab that may give false positive microscopic result nga man. Kung magamit ka sa cotton swab, okay, it's either ang pus nga magwa sa panit Okay. Then, ang mga content swab is either contaminated na car or ang mga pag-trap, pag-collect using the swab sa pan, it will uh, add more bacteria or yung mga fungi. Then, you have your clean catch urine may be collected in a sterile wild mouth container. Uh, you have your biopsy. Okay. Hindi na tamang padalo naman kung tapos naman. Then, sa hapon itong microscopy. Okay. I think di gid man itama ka important para sa inyo uh na it is not for diagnostic purposes ang inyo nga uh, micro or microbiology. Okay, oh, skip. I skip na lang for for your uh, interest you can read it sa ato nga module. Then you have your culture. Okay? Uh, culturing your uh, fungi. One of the most common media used in your fungi culture in the laboratory is your sabarots dextrose agar or your SDA. It consists of your peptone, dextrose, and also agar. The high concentration of your sugar and has a low pH of around 4.5 to 5.5, preventing the growth of your most bacteria and makes it a selective for fungi. Also, you have your MOS modification of your SDA that contains 2% of your dextrose and the pH of 6.8. 
other basic media to grow your fungi includes your potato, dextrose agar, your malt extract agar, etc. Most fungi are able to grow at a room temperature while few pathologic fungi like such as your cryptococcus, your dimorphic fungi can grow at 37 degrees Celsius. Na, if you are talking, if, ano na lang, the trivia, if you are talking about pathologic class ng mga microorganism, okay, if you say pathologic, it causes illness to human. Therefore, ano ang body temperature sa ito? As a bad, as a itong uh, self, it is 36.5 or 37 degrees Celsius. That's why, pag ang mo pathologic, it targets a 37 degrees na kung culture, culture temperature. Okay? Then you have saprotic fungi, go me quickly, then your pathologic fungi, example, your dermatophytes. In such condition, the saprotic Phytic fungi can be inhabited by addition of a cyclohexamide uh, or acidotamine to your SDA and addition to your antibiotics such as your uh, clamprophenicol, your gentamicin and your streptomycin to SDA serves, the ex uh, serves to inhibit bacterial multiplication. An example of your SDA is, yeah, is with your cyclohexamide and chloro um, Camol or is in your mycocell algar. The other specialized media for different uh, fungi includes your brain heart infusion algar, inhibitory mold algar, your caffeic acid algar, and birdseed algar, uh, your cornmeal algar, your trichophyton algars, your dermaphytes medium, your subdimedium, and your chrome algar for candida and it's very useful for identification of candida species. Okay, mga last part na kita. Conversion of your mold to yeast phase must be demonstrated in a vitro to identification of a dimorphic fungi. Uh, some, uh, since some of your fungi can grow uh, slowly cultured because they are described into 4 to 6 weeks, fungi are identified on the basis of the colony morphology including ang ilanga pigmentation or colors ng ilanga colony. The microscopic observation by this amount preparation or the slide culture technique. Then you have your ser uh, your serology. Okay, what is serology? It is the detection of an antifungal antibody and it helps in diagnosis of a subcutaneous and systematic mycosis and prognosis also responds to your antifungal drugs. Different serologic techniques that are used including your agitation, immunodiffusion, counter-immunoelectrophoresis, your complex fixation test, your immunofluorescent or RAA, and ELISA or ELISA. Then you have your antigen detection. It is a particular useful in the diagnosis of your crypto, uh, cryptococcal meningitis from your uh, cerebral spine. Oh. Cerebral spinal fluid specimen. The test is performed on a latex agglutination and immunodiffusion test. It's also helpful in detection of your aspergillus and candida antigen in a systemic infection. Now for your skin test, okay, it's a delayed hypersensitivity reaction to fungal with antigen and can demonstrate a skin test. A positive skin test does not uh, necessarily indicates an active infection. It indicates a sensitization of your individual, hence its value is in etymological studies and diagnosis. This test may be performed in heptoplasmosis, candidiasis, uh, sporotrichosis, uh, coxidiodomycosis, blastomyces, paracoxidiomycosis, and also dermato. Cis. And lastly, the molecular techniques, newer techniques such as uh, DNA hybridization, your PCR polymerase chain reaction are useful in diagnosis for your mycosis in a shorter period of time and detects those fungi that are difficult to or dangerous to cultivate, uh, cultivate in vitro. Okay, so that would be all sa ating mycology and being that uh, we will learn sa ito nga microbiology. So stay safe, all we God bless.